Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Taryn, that's Kendra, and this is Living It Okay Life. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified every time we release a video. In today's video, we're talking about Oklahoma City, which is the biggest city in Oklahoma. You may be thinking of moving here from another state we're just relocating from another town here in Oklahoma. Are you wondering what it's really like to live here? Well, today we're discussing the pros and cons of living in Oklahoma City. Okay, you guys, so let's get into our first pro, which is traffic. Here in Oklahoma City, we have minimum traffic. The only times you really have traffic is with your morning rush, which is from 7.45 to about 8.45, and then your after work traffic, which is from like 4.45 to 5.45. And besides that, you'll probably have like construction traffic, but that's it. Traffic here is very minimal. Okay guys, so another con about Oklahoma City is that we have forever oh. potholes. <laughs> As you can see, we are driving on a bumpy street, and it's like this all the time because of the weather and it's just crazy. We have a lot of potholes around here. And whenever they come to patch them up, the, the rain just takes them right back out. So the potholes are forever a thing. So another pro to living in OKC is the question that everyone asks is the cost of living. The average house or the medium house here in OKC is around 130,000 compared to the national average of 241,000. If you look at the gas prices as well, they range between $1.80 for ethanol or $2.30 for non-ethanol. Okay, so another con about living in Oklahoma City are the salaries. Minimum wage here is only $7.25 an hour. It has not been raised since 2008 that was 12 years ago so that's a con because the cost of living has gone up since 2008 the cost of gas the cost of milk here it's gone up but minimum wage is still 725 an hour so if you plan on moving here um, you may not be able to survive on 725 an hour because the cost of living is still rising but the minimum wage has not. Another pro to living in OKC is that the airports are rarely busy. The numbers prove it. In 2019, OKC received 4.4 million passengers. And you think of million, that is a lot of people. But compared to a busy airport, and we're gonna compare it to LAX, they received 88 million passengers in 2019. From my personal experience, when I went from here to OKC to Denver, I arrived, checked in, went through customs, and boarded the plane in 30 minutes. So that is a pro. Okay, so although we do have a less busy airport, the flights are way more expensive than if you go to an international airport. So, for example, we got flights for our honeymoon from DFW for 70 bucks round trip, to Florida, whereas here in Oklahoma City, it costs around $200 round trip per person. So the flights are a little bit more expensive and you usually don't have a direct flight. You usually have to have a connecting flight and have a layover in another bigger city. Another pro to living in OKC is we have a wide variety of local foods. And this is my personal favorite. We have Guatemalan, Colombian, Mexican, Ethiopian foods, even just regular American food. Whatever your heart desires, we have it here in OKC. Okay, so another con of living in Oklahoma City is that it is not walkable. If you watch this video right here, you would know the first thing that you need is a car if you are moving here. So, downtown, it's pretty walkable in itself, but you still have to drive to get to a lot of different places. So for example, we're just here right in the heart of downtown. There's a lot of apartments where we're at. And so we are actually looking to 
see where the nearest grocery store is and that's homeland so if we drive over there it's a five minute drive but if we walked it would be 32 minutes so five minutes 32 minutes you can see you need a car to just to get around here just to get down the streets not even that far it's one and a half miles so i guess if you power walked you'd probably get there in 25 minutes but <laughs> Another pro to living in OKC is that the people are friendly. You can walk down the street and people ask you, how are you doing? Now in certain bigger cities that I've been to, people think that is weird, they really do. But here in OKC, mostly everyone is friendly. You're gonna always have those people who are not, but everyone is mostly friendly. They'll ask you how you're doing. So that's a, definitely a good pro. And they'll hold the door open for you. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Okay, so you guys, the final con about living in Oklahoma City is that there is absolutely nothing to do here after past like 9 or 10 o'clock. Things start to shut down. Your options get real limited. There's nothing to do besides maybe going to a club, going to see maybe a late movie. Compared to like when we went to New York, the city that never sleeps, we could go shopping at Forever 21 until like 2 a.m. So that's a pretty big con here because if you haven't eaten, you just fell asleep, you took a nap, you woke up and it's 8.30 and you want to go out to eat, your options are real slim. So. <laughs> so another pro, which will be my last pro to living here in OKC is that it is very easy to navigate. We have four and possibly five highways that make up the OKC area. You have I-40, I-240, and then you have I-35 and I-44. Some of those you may be familiar with, some of them you will not be. If you ever get lost, just remember this. The majority of our number streets run east and west, and the majority of our name streets run north and south. So that's a good compass for you. All right, you guys, it's gonna wrap this video up. If you enjoyed our pros and cons list, make sure you let us know in the comments below and hit that like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're not already and hit that post notification bell so you will be notified each time we release a video. We will see you guys next time. Bye.